Welcome to a brand new episode of the Focus B Show. Today's topic is around how can you improve your life one day at a time, one step at a time. Why is it that this is such a common topic? Why is it that we talk about this daily 1%, this daily improvement? One of the reasons is because if we look at it on the other side of the spectrum, by just thinking of our aspirations and goals as one big topic, this generally doesn't work out. A very simple example is looking at New Year's resolutions. We have these big aspirations, these big goals and ambitions. And how long do we stay and stick by these New Year resolutions? Not very long and by February, most of the people have gone back to their previous patterns. Is this because they're lacking motivation or purpose? Probably not, but most likely because they've aimed too big. And this is why the 1%, the 1% daily improvement is so magical. Because instead of aiming to suddenly out of the blue exercise an hour a day, you might begin with five minutes and then six minutes, and then seven minutes. We'll talk a bit more in detail what 1% improvement can actually mean, but first let's focus on why this is so relevant. As I explained, a lot of the time, big goals and aspirations fall through if they're not converted into habits, into a process that can actually make them sustainable. This is one of the reasons why it's so important. Another one is because it helps us to maintain motivation and to enjoy the process. Because by having these small little steps, these small milestones and improvements, we are far more likely to stick to it and to enjoy it as we go along. By improving our life or our habits by only 1% every single day, This adds up to us being 37 times better by the end of the year. This is something that James Clear explains really clearly in his book Atomic Habits. Again, we'll explain more in depth what 1% improvement can mean, but just think about it in general. If you just tweaked and improved little things in your business, in your health, in your relationships every day, what would that look like a year from now? How can you put this in place? First of all, you need to think about which categories you want to improve. This is essential, otherwise you can't put the improvement in place. So full clarity on the type of improvement you're looking at and specific. Being very specific as to what does this 1% improvement look like. Once you have this way of processing and thinking, you're far less likely to procrastinate because it's an easier way to go about it. Putting in place this small daily improvement is so much easier than having these big lofty goals. You can still have goals and aspirations. The concept isn't to eliminate goals altogether, but rather to put in place these habits and these improvements that lean towards achieving these goals. A great example is if you want to build, let's say, a practice, an exercise daily practice. You want to exercise 45 minutes every single day. If you're not at all in the habit of exercising and you go from 0 to 45, which is what most people do after New Year's Eve, and I have definitely been guilty of this in the past, then sustain, 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 and after a while it falls through. Through. Except maybe for you lucky ones who are listening to this and who actually have managed to sustain your habits and purpose after New Year's Eve. Congratulations if you have, but most of us fall through if we go from 0 to 45. On the other hand, if you apply this 1% improvement, you would begin with a very small threshold, 5 minute stretch, and then you would improve it by a minute every day or 30 seconds. This is one way you can use the 1% improvement in terms of length. But you can also do this in terms of quality of your exercising. 
For instance, let's say that you already have an exercise routine of 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour or two hours or whatever it is, and you want to improve this by 1% every day. After a while, just increasing the length isn't sustainable. You're not going to end up exercising six hours a day. Instead, you can improve the quality. This might mean you make it slightly harder or in those specific yoga poses, you lift the leg instead of leaving it on the ground. You tweak it, you change it in a way that it's slightly more challenging. This is another way in which you can use the daily 1% improvement. This is in the case of your exercise routine, but you can also apply this for meditation, for communication, for business. Essentially, it comes down to looking at how is your life and your business at the moment? What would you like to improve and change? What type of aspirations or goals do you have? And what is it that you can do every day to make it slightly better? This might seem easy and even not satisfying for these hyper achievers out there. I know that when I first discovered the 1% improvement, I didn't really believe that it could make so much of a difference. And you'd be surprised how easier it was for me to build my business, to increase my meditation practice or the consistency of it through this 1% improvement. Because aside from the actual pr practical and strategic aspect to it, the mindset behind this is that we're always striving towards our greatest potential. So we catch ourselves, we increase our awareness, and we're always tweaking and improving the way we communicate, the way I do these podcast episodes. And it's an ongoing aim and game of improvement and this mindset is really magical. So there are two ways of looking at this. One of them is the practical aspect, looking at your exercise routine, thinking what daily improvement can you make either in length or quality or maybe type of exercise and the other one is what mindset can you have, can you embrace that will help you to raise your awareness to always go towards your potential and which leads to a more fulfilled and happier life. All in all, I feel that this 1% improvement, daily improvement, highly contributes to us feeling more fulfilled, helps us to persevere, no zero days, always doing a minimum, always maintaining this consistency and regularity that helps us to be stable and thrive in our progress. I invite you all to think about these different categories and to think where can you put this in place to be 37 times better a year from now in this category. It's a true joy that we all get from growth, from personal and professional growth. And it's such a wonderful journey to be on. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please subscribe, leave a comment or a review. I'm always thrilled to read your comments and answers. And let me know some examples of daily 1% improvement that you apply in your life or your business. Thank you so much for tuning in today.